Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 426, I think, of the Aspirations Challenge. And I had to start recording at this very moment because Quentin just walked in and uh, I got this notification. It says, It's happening. Quentin Ishmawin is so utterly smitten with Alejandra Vega Hasegawa. Man, they both have long last long names. Um, that he is proposing marriage. Uh, and then we can say, of course or no way. And I really did not want to say no to this. I was kind of hoping that uh, this would happen at some point, but I was hoping it would happen organically as I was playing and then it would just pop up and I didn't have to start an episode this way. But we're going to say yes to Quentin because uh, this is, I think this is all Alejandra wants. Uh, lifestyle at risk. Alejandra's at risk of losing her single and loving it lifestyle. Yeah, more at risk than you than you realize. So her and Quentin are officially engaged. I'm actually really excited about that because he seemed like he was pulling away a little bit. But now she's feeling fine from being engaged. Again, I think this has to do with, like, she's not elated because she did have the single and loving it um, lifestyle. And that's going to go away now. So, I mean, I think that Alejandra would be... Very excited to be marrying Quentin and excited to move on to the next chapter. But also it's hard for her to say goodbye to that single and loving it chapter of her life because, I mean, look at her life stage. She is 11 days away from becoming an adult. She has spent her whole life so far being single. And I think she's it's just bittersweet for her. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, it says, Alejandra is engaged to be wed now. Great news. But then again, it's a lot of commitment when she was so used to being single. Exactly. <laughs> that's pretty much exactly what I'm trying to say. But either way, I, I think that this, it's definitely time for this to happen. Um, and still with self, false confidence, we're going to kiss cheek. And then, of course, we need to tell Gabriella because she would be so excited. Um, Gabriella likes new age. Oh yeah, I've added a few changes to the house to support us, uh, Alejandra's aspiration of inner peace. So I've put some um, speakers throughout the house that play new age music. I've got some incense as well. Um, so the two speakers are here and then outside on this little platform by the pool, I put like a little meditation pillow, um, another incense there, and then she has a yoga mat too. So just a few things to sort of help her embrace her new interest. Okay, now we gotta go tell, um, tell her the news. Can you even really do that? Interests, small talk. Can you announce engagement? I thought you could, but I mean, I honestly think that she already knows. She's been here the whole time. Okay, her and Gabriella need to be excited about this. Complain, ask to be sim of honor at wedding. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we already knew. Oh, good, she said yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I thought she would, but you never know. That's so exciting. Okay. Uh, and then we got to ask Mateo to be the ring bearer as well. Let's enthuse one more time because this is very exciting. So I don't really have a plan for when they're going to get married. I don't think I'm in a huge rush. Okay, now where is Mateo? He's floating on the pool, in the pool. Uh, I really want her to ask Mateo to be the, I think it's, he can be the flower pal or the ring bearer. I think we'll do, I mean, flower pal is really cute. Asked to be ring bearer. Yeah, let's go with ring bearer. Hopefully he says yes. She hasn't really communicated with him in a long time. We're never home anymore. <gasps> he said no? You little jerk. He's feeling very uncomfortable. Wait, but I thought they had a pretty good relationship. Why would he say no to that? You little ingrate. <laughs> um, you wouldn't even have a place to live right now if it weren't for her. Give a talking to, ask about school. I mean, maybe we just need to work on this relationship a little bit more. What kind of nephew says no <laughs> to being a flower pal or a ring bearer? I'll try one more time. He said no again. Oh, you really are just a piece of work. <laughs> 
I can't believe that after everything she's done for him, he's going to say no. Also, I do have Gabriella kind of working on a relationship of her own with um, Corbin Volkov. I'm not sure if that's really going to be um, advantageous or not. I, I don't know, I even know if it's going to work, but I, I do want to see Gabriella get into a relationship as well. Ideally, what I would love to see is both of these girls find someone to marry and maybe then it would be a good time for them to go their separate ways. Oh, you're going to come to her for advice, but you're going to say no to being in her wedding. Rude. This kid has no manners. Okay, let's go listen to this music because it might um, give us another piece of our aspiration. Or it might not. <laughs> She's at 5 out of 40. Okay, let's go uh, meditate again. And I'm going to light this incense. I Can incense um, start a fire? I know in real life it could, but uh, in the game, I'm not sure if it's a fire hazard. I can't remember now. Okay, this Corbin character, we're going to invite him over to hang out. Because, again, I do want to see her end up with someone. And even though Corbin, you know, doesn't really interest me, <laughs> I still think it'd be nice for her to end up with someone. And I don't even care anymore who it is. Okay, you're supposed to be meditating. Go, go meditate. Finchwick Fair is starting. Okay, let's go chat with Corbin. Talk about the rain. Where are you going? <laughs> kind of just boldly walks in. Discuss favorite artist. Brighton Day. Heartfelt compliment. See, he's feeling dazed as well. I just, I, I don't understand why everybody here feels like that. It's like a Tartosa thing. It's like how in Strangerville, everybody is under that weird curse. Um, do an impression. Maybe we could find out what his traits are. They seem to be getting along. Small talk, get to know. Yeah, we don't really know anything about him yet. <laughs> Mateo's like, hey, I'm going to have to check this guy out as well. He's a green fiend. Please don't leave. It's very rude. Show off muscles. Ask about favorite author. Tell an engaging story. The push-ups. It's so weird. Could you imagine having a conversation with somebody and they just stand up and start doing push-ups mid-conversation? That is just so odd. <laughs> Let's also compliment his appearance. Just see if a, a, a cheeky little flirt will get us anywhere. <laughs> I doubt it because just with my luck, he'll he'll reject her immediately. Share ideas. Yell at Rose case, crazy scheme. Um, sing about Big Summer Blowout. Gossip. Um, honestly, this relationship seems to be working out so far. They're building a, a friendship pretty quickly. Well, not when he walks away. <laughs> oh, where are you going? I don't understand. Why? I can understand if you stopped talking to that sim and started ignoring them, if they would they just walk away. Like, I get it. But that's not what happened. I'm sorry, James. I'm not meaning to ignore your phone call. But we've got some other stuff going on at the moment. <laughs> Let's go relax in the little poolside chair. Oh, you guys, y'all came up to the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Um, pick up line. Compliment appearance. If they could woohoo, I'm not opposed. Bold pick up line. I feel like at this point I'm putting the business on the side, on the back burner for a little bit. So I can possibly focus on these two establishing romantic relationships. Hug. Don't you dare walk away. <laughs> oh good, he accepted. Okay, I was getting kind of worried. Okay, finally, I'm getting somewhere. I mean, I would love to see... Um, oh, wow, they want to be best friends. No. <laughs> No, no, no. Nobody's coming for Alejandra's status as best friend. First kiss. I don't know if he's going to say yes to that. 
Admire courage. Oh, good, he did say yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is this is going much better than her relationship with um, or than with Alejandra's relationship with with uh, Quentin. Let's go listen to New Age again. Just like walk away. There's something kind of private going on up here. Can they woohoo? They cannot woohoo. Wait, what's happening? Why? We just got like the negative, like flirty thing. Oh no, and their relationship took a huge hit. What is going on? I was just saying that things were going so well. Share spirit. I mean, I'd like to see them share a bed, but he's, he's not into it. Can we order him to clean? We can apologize. I don't know what for. Okay, hold on a second. What is going on here? <laughs> Things were going so well. Their, their relationship was so much better and she did one thing and now it slid all the way back. Um, smooth recovery. See, I guess some kind of flirtation didn't go well. Oh, this is so frustrating. <laughs> so frustrating. I feel like I'm trying to work on two relationships at once. And this poor girl has to pee. Okay, you know what? Let's go to the washroom. Um, okay, Alejandra. Where are we at with this, her aspiration? 10 out of 40. You know, this may not be too difficult. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to think. Oh, what's broken? Yeah, I'm not sure what to think. Like, this aspiration... Um, so far is easy, but this maintain harmony where you have to keep a clear mind for 48 hours. That seems like it could be really difficult. Okay, so this guy likes to dance. <laughs> Let's go dance with him. Even though this music, it's meditation music, so it's not dancing music. Okay, where do you think you're going? You're starting to really annoy me. <laughs> He's just starting to reject every advance she makes. Okay, Alejandra, can we do another meditation? Oh, did he leave? This man is so irritating. He's all over the place. Okay, he was into that. I think we need to take this like one step at a time. Declare love publicly. Yeah, we're not quite there. Confess attraction. Can you just stop being so stuck up for one minute? Ooh, woohoo! <laughs> I doubt it's gonna work, but we could try. Uh, Alejandra Tain. Oh yeah, okay, she's. Gabriella has learned Corbin's woohoo interest. Yeah, that is one way to, to determine that. Oh, you can woohoo in this bed. Okay, I wasn't sure because that chair is on a weird angle, so I've never actually tried, but I assumed it wouldn't work. Um, so Alejandra has a wedding to plan, which is really exciting. We know she's going to have a great cake at her wedding. <laughs> but other than that, I don't really know, um, like, when or where. But I definitely want her to have a big wedding. I think she'd be really excited to be getting married. Okay, can we ask him to be her boyfriend? Talk about the rain. Um... Okay, we can try suave kiss. I don't know. I want them to officially be dating, though. Oh, he's going to say yes. Look at you go. Finally. And flirt. Woo and shower. Uh, physical intimacy. Declare love publicly. I really don't know about that. Has to be boyfriend. There it is. All right. Finally, he said yes to something. Okay, let's grab some leftovers because Alejandra made eggs Benedict this morning, so I think there's some of that in the fridge. Um, Alejandra thought of a great new baking recipe while meditating and gained a new level of baking. Okay, I'll accept. I've been thinking about this a lot and wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. Um, no. I do not want that, but thank you. 
kind of shot him down a little bit. But if he proposed marriage, I would definitely say yes. The thought of Gabriella and Alejandra not living together makes me very sad because this has been a lot of fun for me and I love their relationship and their story. But I mean, at some point, they both have to move on and kind of live their own separate lives. And I feel like we're almost at that point. Um, okay, where, what else do we want to do here? Tell him a funny story. I mean, he, he may propose. I don't know. Okay, this girl is so tired. I'm going to send her to bed. And then I'm going to actually send her to bed too. Oh, what's this? Tense. But my me time. Alejandra really wants to spend more time focusing on herself. Why did she think being in a relationship was such a good idea in the first place? I can totally, totally see Alejandra having those feelings. Um, so I find that actually really interesting that she's kind of feeling like um, a little bit nervous to get married because, again, she's been on her own for this long and she's worried about giving up her me time. I think that is such a realistic way to think. I, that's, I think that's why I like lifestyles. Like your sim does something so much for so long that it becomes a part of them. And that's how it is with Alejandra being single. Like she's been single for so long. She doesn't know any other lifestyle. Um, and she's been living with her sister for so long. And story-wise, okay, Mateo, it's 4 a.m. Go to sleep. Story-wise, I like to think that, I mean, living with her sister and Mateo has something to do, that, with, to do with that as well. Because that's obviously going to come to an end once her and... Um, Quentin decided to get married. So I think she's just scared of all of these changes. I should get going now. Yeah, actually, I was kind of thinking that. I was wondering if he was going to leave. And then today is the first day of fall. Okay, let's go take a shower. What's Mateo doing? Still sleeping. Uh, it's Sunday, so he doesn't have to go to school or anything. He can just stay in bed. Do whatever. Oh, she's um, erratic, so she kind of freaks out sometimes. <laughs> it's no biggie. Let's make an omelet for breakfast. Um, Gabriella can stay in bed for a little while longer. But I'm excited that they're both in relationships. I definitely feel like we're moving forward with their lives. Ultimately, I would love to see Gabriella go live her best life in Sulani because she is a child of the ocean and that's where she wants to be. But again, it would make me sad that they weren't living together. I do wonder, though, if maybe Alejandra could hire her to work at the cake shop. Oh, we should take a test, actually, because she did have unprotected woohoo. And then take a shower. Okay, she's not pregnant. That's good. Is she happy about that? Um, just a pregnancy scare from failed pregnancy test. Both Alejandra and Gabriella are opposed to being pregnant at the moment, but I would probably change that pretty soon. I don't know if Gabriella will have more kids. I honestly haven't thought about that. We're really making some headway on this aspiration. I'm, I'm excited about that. I was thinking, at first I thought it would be too easy. Then I thought it would be too hard. But now I'm thinking that we should be able to do this. It's the... Uh, maintaining 48 hours of like mental, um, what do they call it? Like mental clarity that scares me because they can't be tense, embarrassed, upset, uncomfortable, really anything for two full days. And I don't even know if that's possible. Okay. Can we continue to talk about the wedding? These about upcoming wedding? Uh, no, they have to stand up to talk about that. <laughs> Joke about facial hair? No. Ooh, we got $4 instead of $3 for uh, Tigers Don't Take Naps. So that's very exciting. Um, yeah, so I do want to plan her wedding event. I'm just... I want it to be really good. <laughs> and also, we have to make a plan for... <clears throat> Oh, what's going on here? Uh, flea market? No, thank you. We do have to make a plan for Gabriella and Mateo as well. I just, I'm not quite ready for them to move out, but I know it has to happen kind of soon. Okay, uh, what do we want to do next? 
let's just see about if we wanted the wedding for let's say Tuesday um I also like that we I mean I've never really done any of these events other than just the wedding ceremony uh we could always do an engagement dinner I mean who would even come to that honestly <laughs> I don't know who would come we could do it was just a reception <clears throat> yeah I don't know I think we just want to go with the full thing uh, oh, we can do baby showers, and I keep forgetting to do that. Sim of Honor is Gabriella. Oh, you know what? We still need to confirm Mateo as our ring bearer, so we got to work on that relationship. Let's chat with him some more. This kid obviously has some beef. He doesn't want to be part of the wedding. He's going to be a tough cookie, but that's okay. We just got to spend some time with him. What if we gave him, like, candy or something? I think that would work. <laughs> I don't know. Inside joke. I want to bribe him. <laughs> I feel like people do that in real life. Why can't we do it here? The constant meditation music playing in the background is funny. Um, Alejandro Mateo is jokesters. Yeah, sure, we can say that. Okay, now will you be the ring bearer? Like how Gabriella is here for support as well. Did she ask him? I don't think she did. Like, don't be difficult. <laughs> Just say yes, please. Oh, I think he just said yes. I don't even know anymore. I think he said yes. I hope he did because <laughs> I'm I'm sick of wasting time. Let's see. Uh, we'll go, if we go with Tuesday, it's not going to be the nicest wet weather. What if we went with tomorrow? <sighs> I don't know. It seems really fast. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm going to go with Tuesday. I don't know why. One extra day is what I need, apparently. Uh, okay, so Sim of Honor is Gabriella. Officiant, we don't have one. Ring bearer, Mateo. Guest, um, Adeline. I really only want to invite people that we know. Otherwise, it's a bit weird. Olivia, James. And see, I want Olivia and James to be there as well. Um, who else do we know? She doesn't really have any friends. Jackson, that would be really awkward. Um, and the rest of these people we don't even know. But I kind of want it to be a big party. <laughs> Just keep adding people. We got all the important ones. Um, the rest can just be like extras. Activities. So we're going to do first dance, walk down the aisle, cake, obviously, exchange vows, and have toasts. Dress code. Um, what are you wearing? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not going to wear that. Um, do we want a dress code? Let's do polished. Um, no color. Uh, my cousin is getting married and he has selected, uh, or not, well, I guess you could say selected. He's doing a dress code where nobody's allowed to wear gray, black, or white. No, gray, gray, black, or navy. Everyone has to wear color. I think that's really fun. Um, anyway, let's look here at possible venues. So this one is in Tartosa. I think this is probably our best bet because I can definitely see her getting married in Tartosa. And let's go with 3 p.m. Although I like the idea of a sunset wedding. Um, I don't even know what time sun sunset is at though. So let's go with 6 p.m. and then it'll be like a late dinner and stuff. But yeah, I think that'll work. All right, that's a bit scary, but the wedding has been planned for Tuesday. Then we gotta get Gabriella engaged. Let's invite Corbin over. <laughs> Maybe he'll ask when we see him. I heard you and Corbin started dating. Congrats on getting a new boyfriend. That is exactly what happened. Okay, let's go have her meditate again. And then Gabriella is gonna come chat with Corbin. This guy's a tough cookie. <laughs> I'll say that. Go away, do impression. I love his bell bottoms. It's a great look. I 
I mean, it's kind of interesting that they're all three sitting together because Mateo hasn't officially met him. Maybe he should do that. Yeah, this could be Mateo's introduction to Corbin, which obviously didn't go very well. <laughs> oh, maybe it did. Okay, we're good. I thought it was a negative interaction. Okay, we'll do the awkward neck break hug. Why is their friendship so low? Maybe they could go cloud gaze. I know that does help sometimes. Oh no, who's dead? Who's dead? Oh, Peanut the dog. Okay, that does make me sad, but I'm, I have to say I'm really relieved that it's not James. Um, I should actually find out when he is going to die. Um, days left, four, including zero bonus days. Okay, so it's happening soon. Which means I would like to see both Gabriella and Alejandra get married in that time. Because, you know, James has got to be there. How long are we going to be sad about the dog for? Two days? No. <laughs> Just no, I'm sorry, but like, yeah, I get that the dog died and that's very sad. But at this point, it's going to affect everything. Um... Okay, got rid of that. I don't know if I want to get rid of hers, though, because she's got a lot going on at the moment. <laughs> um, like, what with her being engaged and everything? Okay, hopefully this helps them build their relationship a little more. Is it helping? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Corbin. <laughs> Just pop the question. I don't want to wait anymore. I was hoping that this it would line up that these two got engaged around the same time. But maybe that won't work out. It all depends on him. Okay, well, this is actually working. I'll say that. Uh, they are slowly building their friendship. It's actually working really well. Okay, I'm glad. Good. Let's move on to Alejandra. <laughs> she is just in her zen zone. I love that for her. Um, but it's been nice taking a bit of a break from the business and just doing other things and focusing on other things. Um, spending some time at home. I think we're accomplishing a lot with their personal lives too. Uh, so after the wedding, Quinton will move in. And then I think if, if that time... No, we're not going to be best friends. Sorry, but does that... Let me just check here. See, this is what's annoying. If you say no to them being best friends, your relationship drops. And I don't accept. <laughs> so I'm going to um, I'm gonna fix that because that's really annoying. That's very frustrating. Um, people, yeah. You know what? No. <laughs> I just, I have so much to say about that. You can work so hard at building a relationship and if they ask you to be best friends which basically cancels your best friend status with someone else, um, and you say no to that, then they get mad at you and then your relationship drops. And I'm not, I'm not going to play that game. <laughs> I object. Propose. Oh, she has the option to propose. Interesting. Um, no, we're not going to live together. You keep asking me. You're asking the wrong questions. <laughs> Let's get them to woohoo again. Maybe that'll get a proposal out of them. You never know. Okay, you're doing pretty good over here. <laughs> Just meditating away. Um, her aspiration's doing pretty good. I mean, I, I shouldn't really be in much of a rush because I mean, she hasn't even had the next generation yet. We, we have so much time on our hands. Okay, those two are woohooing again. I can light this incense again. Smell the aroma. I actually never use incense in this game. I'm not sure why. I just kind of forget that it exists. All right, let's go for a swim because that sounds fun. And I'm going to leave this episode here. So we will have the wedding in the next episode. Uh, hopefully we can get a proposal out of Corbin. We'll see what happens. Uh, she could also propose to him too. I'm just worried that he's going to say no. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.